I'm Mike Owner of the Ingram in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for September 1st, 2023. So, a uh, couple of pre-orders to tell you guys about, and then I'll show you guys the new arrivals. I will start with the big one of the week, and that is the Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd's 50th Anniversary Standalone LP Edition. So, originally they came out with the box set, which was pretty much everything. It was the live concert, it was the 50th Anniversary, the Atmos mix, the high res, the rushing nesting doll of a box. That came out. It was a one shot deal, sold out pretty much everywhere. And that's it. It's out of print, right? We're not going to see that no more. But I had mentioned then there's probably a good strong chance that they're going to make a standalone. And why wouldn't you make a standalone? Because that's more money. And Pink Floyd, the Beatles, these bands. They're a fan of more money. So here it is. It is coming out October the 12th. So the two things that were missing from that box, right? The standalone single disc of the album and also the Dolby Atmos Blu-ray are both coming out as standalone pieces. They're on the website now for pre-order. Uh, the next UHQR was announced. It was kind of somewhat of a surprise because it's not a title that you would typically associate with an audiophile record. I'm not a big White Stripes fan, but they're doing White Stripes Elephant. Uh, Seven Nation Army, right? It's a good song. I've uh, heard it, you know, not as much as I used to back when it was new. But I'm looking forward to hearing that. That could be quite good. So they're doing it as a standalone UHQ. I think they're doing 10,000 of them. And they're doing it as an SACD as well. Also, they kind of tweaked the aesthetic of the UHQR box to kind of suit the record, which is kind of cool. And almost, yeah, it's kind of cool. I liked it. The next two Blue Note Classics were announced. Art Blakey's Mosaic and Hank Mobley's No Room for Squares. Both coming out October 20th. Both absolute smoking killer titles. The Art Blakey, amazing. Love Art Blakey. I've said that a gazillion times. A gazillion plus one. I love Art Blakey. Uh, Hank Mobley, No Room for Squares. Really good record. Uh, they're doing another one of the uh, Latin craft releases. Uh, Willie uh, Colon's Assalto Navarado. Navadino. I'm going to go with Navadino. Uh, holiday album. That comes out September 29th. All analog. Kevin Gray's been cutting them all. So, yeah. And I think this is going to be one of the more popular Prince titles. They're pretty much doing a whole reissue catalog, right? Campaign for Prince and been working on it for years. But they're doing a box set for Diamond and Pearls and they're doing it on clear vinyl. I'm going to assume they're calling it Pearl Vinyl. Those both come out uh, October 27th. But that's a, that was his... I'm trying to think. I think that was his last like real strong album from memory, like, you know, chart success. But yeah, just an update. We're st still doing international shipping. It's gone great. I got tons of feedback now. It's been rolled out for a couple of months. It's pretty much, you go onto the website, everything is calculated inclusive. So you're paying for your taxes, the fees, everything. You're gonna get the package delivered. There are no more charges on your end. A few people said, no, no, when I get DHL, I have customs and duty fees. No, no, no. When you buy from the ingroove.com, DHL in New York country, the price you pay at the website is the price to your door. Not only that, it's a really like aggressively good price for shipping. The sweet spot is around three to four albums because keep in mind my mailer is still about one pound so you got to absorb some of the cost of the mailer in shipping. So it's like optimal with like three to four pounds. You know that's like three to four records. But uh, go on there, do the shipping calculator, try it out. Also you can shop in your own currency. So hundreds of currencies. So no matter where you are, you can shop. I even have it in two languages now. I think the website has now been translated to Spanish and German. There's a spot where you can select your currency and language on the bottom. So I've worked pretty aggressively to keep, you know, keep pushing the website forward, you know, for a more worldwide reach. But uh, check it out. Some customers love it. I'm getting international customers from guys two, three times a week. It's gone over real well. Love Supreme, don't have it to show you, but I'm going to have it this Friday, the Love Supreme UHQR. So if you pre-ordered it from me, it's going to ship Friday. Uh, you know, there's always a little bit of delay from when they release, AP releases stuff, to when I actually have it to ship, or all 
you know, retail stores. But I'll have it going out this Friday. Uh, I got word on the Eagles Hotel One, Hotel California One Step. That's probably two to three weeks for me being able to ship it. But it's really, really close. So if you're interested in that, get your pre-order in now. But uh, that's going to be still a pretty big title, regardless of anything that's going on. The One Step Eagles... Man, the Eagles, I don't even like the Eagles, but those first couple of one-steps, they do sound killer. I mean, they're unbelievable. Better than anything I've heard, you know, when I was doing the AB with the stuff that I had. I mean, they were exceptionally good. I uh, couldn't do too much of a demo because I was going a little crazy listening to Witchy Woman so many times. But, yeah, you get the idea. They sounded really good, though. So Hotel California, that's going to be an extremely popular one-step. All right, let's show you guys what's going on. The two new Blue Note Tone Poet All Analog Cut by Kevin Gray titles out this week. Two smoking titles, really, really good. It's like the Blue Note that are coming out, like this next year, a bunch of killer solid releases. But I love Big John Patton, and here he is with Lit'em Roll. Bobby Hutcherson and Grant Green on guitar. The Grant Green stuff is always really popular, so I know this will do really well. And Wayne Shorter, a lot of buzz about Wayne Shorter right now with the uh, documentary. Somebody sent me a link of it. I have to watch it. I think it's on Amazon. I heard it's fantastic. But uh, yeah, schizophrenia. As a tone poet, both Herbie Hancock's on this, Curtis Fuller. All analog cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray. This is one that I know a lot of people are looking for. This is also all analog AAA from the master tape by Kevin Gray. All right, we're cooking. Really thick, heavy tip-on jacket. This is a Woody Shaw's Blackstone Legacy. This is part of the Jazz Dispensary Top Shelf series. These have all been absolutely killer. Originals of this, like three, four hundred bucks. So this is the one you're probably going to want. Not only is it going to be, you know, ten times less money, but it's just going to sound better. And this, that's just what it is. It's like I think we've all kind of accepted that at this point. When Kevin Gray is doing an all analog cut from the original master tape. Reissue of a Tone Poet, Blue Note Classic, uh, OJC, the Jazz Dispensary. They just, they sound the best. It's like the definitive version, like 99.9% .9 out of 100 times. Okay, so I just got back from California. I went and saw Kirsten Ekins live. This is Kevin Gray's first record on his label, Coherent Records. And I kind of brought this out to kind of show you guys. So I listened to a little bit of the new album that's coming out, a track. <laughs> sounded awesome. I can't wait uh, to actually have the physical version to put on my turntable and listen to. But uh, sounded great. That, still on target for, you know, the end of the year. But I went and saw Kirsten Etkins live. She played there in uh, Newport. And it was fantastic. There's a video of it actually online. I think it's like Jack's College. There's a YouTube video of it. Maybe if I remember, I'll link it below so you can watch the live show. You can actually hear a little bit. She does some of the tunes from this. I think it was the first time she performed any of this stuff. But she does some of the tunes from this with almost the same band as on the album. Uh, Joe Clayton, the piano player, was not there. Uh, you know. Uh, but it was fantastic. But the reason I'm showing you this is I just got my shipment in. My very first pallet of Kirsten Records. Which is kind of nice because, you know, like I've mentioned in the past, we are the uh, worldwide distributor here at the Ingroove of this amazing label. Kevin Gray's uh, Coherent Records. And, uh, yeah. So, that's kind of cool. But uh, on a side note, if you're going to your local store and you're not really an online shopper, tell your local record store to contact Mike at the InGroove. You know, we wholesale here right out of the InGroove these records, and you can buy them at your local record store. You know, so uh, you have to, it's like the uh, cut cable TV commercials, you know. Demand. Channel such and such from your local provider. You should demand coherent records from your local record store. But yeah, I'm excited about that. Uh, already started shipping off wholesale orders. But uh, you know, this is kind of, this has been out a little bit. Amazing record, by the way. You can kind of, I'm a fan of the music as well. I've talked about it incessantly, so you probably know that at this point. But you can hear a play live, you know. Actually, listen to that live performance too, like it's progressively better as it goes on. Uh, you could tell that they probably hadn't played in a little while, but after a couple, two, three tunes, they got cooking. 
But uh, yeah, wherever fine audiophile records are sold. Asking Alexandria from Death to Destiny. This is ultra clear black cayenne and blue jay splatter vinyl. I remember about five years ago when I opened up the store, somebody found a box of these at Goodwill, like 20 or 30 copies of an orig you know, the originals. All right, Ornette Coleman, the new music of Ornette Coleman. Tomorrow is the question. Let's see, this is the part of the contemporary series, all analog, cut by Bernie Grumman from the original master tape. I almost feel like this cover is a little bit thinner than what they've been putting out in the past. I would have to compare that against an older one. I might just be hallucinating that. Nothing like the thickness of the jazz dispensary, though, that's, that's for sure. But yeah. All analog, cut by Bernie Crumman. This is part of the uh, contemporary series that they've been doing uh, quite good. I'm, I'm waiting for some of the some of the deeper stuff. They've done Art Pepper, meets the rhythm section. Sonny Rollins, Way Out West is part of the box set, but it's been a good series. This is G Flip. G Flip, the name of this album is Drummer. Briscoe, West of It All. This is the debut album on white vinyl. Joshua Redman, where are we now? This is on Blue Note. What the hell is this? Interesting. <laughs> not, not the cover you typically would associate with Blue Note, but definitely times are different. All right, continuing the Aerosmith Capital reissue campaign, we've got uh, Nine Lives from the original Source Tapes. I don't think I've showed this one yet, but I'm starting to lose track. And uh, Bootleg. We've got, what is this, Dungeons and Dragons. We've got Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. Two LP set, and then we've also got, same thing, but a different color. This is the purple splatter vinyl, and I don't know, this might just be black. Looks like this might be the color variant. All right, Pale Blue Eyes, This House. Comes in this uh, type of sleeve, not sealed. This is, uh, they're doing these uh, Oingo Boingo reissues. These are uh, Rubellin remasters. He pretty much does Oingo Boingo stuff. There's a couple of other things on this label, but this is like a label that almost specializes in doing Oingo Boingo adjacent releases. Uh, there are only 500 of these. This is limited edition of 500 on red and silver marble. But these Oingo Boingo records, man, if you could find them, they're not cheap anymore. They're expensive. So it's cool to have these reissues in, especially because some of these albums, I might get a copy of an Oingo Boingo record like once a year. They're not common. Neil Young. Oh, man, have we hit the, I think we've hit the uh, trifecta here. I think we've hit the, nope, we're missing King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. We got the King, we got the, we got the Kevin Gray in, we got the Neil Young. This is Neil Young. Live in London and Tokyo, 1976. Solo acoustic and electric with Crazy Horse. First time on vinyl. This is Spars Code Master, Master from the original analog tapes. This is, I want to say, is this a clear vinyl version? I think, look online, this uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. If I'm not mistaken, this is using the analog uh, lacquer from a few years back. So this might be the all analog version of this. This has been, yeah, crystal clear vinyl. This has been all analog, I want to say, for some time. Some more of the Oingo Boingo reissues. This is uh, limited to 500 as well. Clear and metallic orange vinyl. And the Danny Elfman, but really it's an Oingo Boingo record. It's funny, it's the 1980 debut by Danny Elfman from Oingo Boingo with the entire... Oingo Boingo on the album. I think it was a contractual deal. But limited to 500 as well on blue and black vinyl. 
might have been under contract, and he's like, fine, we'll go, I will make a solo album. Hey, uh, the entire band here, we'll just call it Danny Elfman. Eagles, the long run, again, I think these are using the old analog masters that maybe, was it Chris Bellman, Bernie Grumman did it? I want to say Chris Bellman, could be wrong. Avenged Sevenfold, blah, blah, blah. Avenged Sevenfold, Hail to the King. Press on gold colored vinyl. John Prine, this is the self-titled, what are we going to call this, like the Hay album, the Bale O' Hay? So I don't know the mastering on this. It's brand new, but I'll tell you this. It came out for Record Store Day a year or two ago. Uh, they did a box set. I think it was like the first three or four John Prine Atlantic albums, and they were all analog, cut by Kevin Gray. I would be perplexed if this wasn't using that same metalwork. I don't know why they would recut this when they only used it, I believe, for that Record Store Day box. Doing a reissue of uh, Catherine Wheel, Happy Days. Ferment, Chrome, probably the most popular of the three I'd imagine. All right, I showed a few of these uh, import Disney non-picture discs. That's the reason I import them is because they're non-picture discs, but they're not cheap. Disney's Moana, the songs. The Princess and the Frog. And Sleeping Beauty. All right, the world's greatest audiophile vocal recordings. So this is a comp by Chesky. Audiophile recording, 180 gram vinyl, LP lacquer cut from high res audio. It's a Chesky comp. Rebecca Pigeon's the big one on here. All right, real cute, real cute. Wilco, this is a sky, a blue sky on sky blue vinyl. <laughs> Makes sense. Limited edition on a hype sticker. Emerson Lake and Palmer, the ultimate collection, two LP set, mastered at half speed for superior audiophile quality. Ooh, Picard. Oh man, how about that season three of uh, Picard, huh? And you guys watch that? Let me know in the comments below. Amazing. I'm a Star Trek fan, though, so if you didn't know that, oh, when it's the season three, it's like if they, it's like, I wish they did that with Star Wars. It's like they actually asked the opinion of what the Star Wars, or in this case, Star Trek fan wanted, like, what would you like to see in a series? And then they made it. It was so mind-blowing, rather than the random crap that they come up with on their own that nobody likes. But, uh, yeah, there it is. Season three, Picard. Uh, sky and white burst colored vinyl. Let's see, DRI, uh, violent pacification. Jorge Ben, uh, limited 500 copies on pink vinyl. Sigur Ross, Ada. This is an indie vinyl variant, so color variation, I think. Continuing with the Atlantic 75 year anniversary, we've got a crystal clear version of Willie Nelson's uh, Phases and Stages. Eloy, oh, Echoes from the Past. John Fogarty. I guess they're reissuing all of his stuff over the last couple of weeks. Rocking all over the world. Dan Fogelberg. It's 2023. Stuff that they reissue, I'll tell you. Okay, Dan Fogelberg, live at Carnegie Hall, the collector's edition. Although, you know, this is different because I guess it's theoretically not been done a gazillion times over the last 30 years, like the Fogarty. Or 40 years, I guess. Carnegie Hall, 1979. Silverstein, 10th anniversary of vinyl variant of This Is How the Wind Shifts. Yep. 
Let's see. Reckless Kelly, Under the Table and Above the Sun. Available on vinyl for the first time, featuring fan favorites and Nobody's Girl in Vancouver. This is by Kraft. Once More. Jenny Mulder. Sing the Great Country Duets. Who's the other guy? Teddy Thompson. This is on Sun Records. All right, we've got Era. The name of this album is Neon. It's a baby blue split and black white splatter of vinyl. Pretty cool cover. Let's see. Irreversible Entanglements. Protect Your Light. This is on Impulse. The legendary jazz label. It's kind of like a random blue note and impulse squeaker in here. Sturgill Simpson, A Sailor's Guide to the Earth. And, this is going to be really popular, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, 2LP original soundtrack. I've not seen this in a long time. It was uh, last in print, I want to say, as a picture disc. But that was years and years ago. Roddy Rich, please excuse me for being antisocial. 2LP set. All right, I got a couple restocks in here. I got a restock of the, actually, fantastic. They did a great job on Karma. Pharaoh Sanders Karma, this is part of the uh, AP series. All analog, done by Ryan Smith from the Master Tape. A few more restocks, but they're uh, mixed in here. We've got the Flaming Groovy sneakers on red vinyl, limited to 500 copies. Faith Hill, Joy to the World. Never too early to get going on Christmas records. Exclusive holiday hot pink vinyl. First time on vinyl. Now, you know, really is the time where you want to be buying holiday records because when everybody's looking for them in December, there is uh, nothing available. Uriah Heep's Look at Yourself. I like how they put the picture of the actual, that's kind of cool. They put the picture of the actual album. Remember that had that like gimmick cover with the aluminum foil cardboard front so you can look at yourself? But here it is as a picture disc. We've got Gore, Battle Maximus. Really cool Spock Lost textured or embossed cover. From Org Music, we've got Jack Irons, Dreamer's Ball. Ooh, this record's sensory overload. Look at this. What is that? Holy neon. This is Jeff Rosenstock's Hell Mode. Limited edition colored vinyl. Do not pay more than, uh, I don't know, 20 something dollars. I'm selling for 25, so. There it is. It's in, uh, what would you call that font from like, you know, it's from the computer font from 40 years ago that blurs on the screen because, you know, it had a resolution of like seven. Yeah, that's the font of the hype sticker. Oh, you can see it. It's here. It's this, the pixelated font, we'll call it. Restock of the Blue Note Classic series, uh, Sam Rivers' Fuchsia Swing Song and the Jackie uh, McLean's Blues Nick. These are some of the more modern Blue Note Classic titles. Then I got a restock of, this is one of my favorite Herbie Hancock records. It has his version of a Cantaloupe Island that was made famous by US3. Us3. But uh, yeah, all in all. Cut from the master tape by Kevin Gray. I think that's all the restocks. Slow Dive. Everything is alive. Guessing this is an index, yeah, crystal clear vinyl. Gordon Lightfoot, his final album at the Royal Albert Hall. Hmm. Two LP set. Turnpike Troubadours. A Cat in the Rain. T. 
T-S-O-L, who's screwing who? This is the greatest non-hits. I like that. That's, uh, I like that title. That's good. Whoop, holy cow. Too many times you see one hit wonders come out with greatest hit bands. I like when the band is just honest and says, this is the greatest of the not hits. This is the best of the rest. We've got Gentle Giants interview. This is a Steven Wilson remix. But yeah, that is it for this week's new arrivals, guys. Go on to the website, theingroup.com. Check them out. Until next time.